Hello, I return. <laughs> I am currently at the GF's house. So, if you hear me talking to someone that's not you guys, it's her. <laughs> so yeah, I can't remember what the fuck I was doing on here. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna check the box. I should put the snowman piece in there. I'm gonna eat the snowman. No, I'm not. <laughs> Savage. Um. Stop. Stop. Stop making noises. Um. Not you, but um. Uh. <laughs> uh. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> bun 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 bun. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. You're not special! Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I can't remember if I've already gone through and talked to all these people. <laughs> this town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. About, about it. Bleh. <laughs> That's politics! Grillbees! Oh, I didn't mean to walk out again. <laughs> God. I can't remember if I already talked to all these guys. I think I did. Fuck. Okay. I... Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Um... Did I go up here? Let's find out. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Oh, okay. Oops. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Be the fucking human, you dickhead. Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt bound. You're a rock! Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Just for you. Ah, my patience rewards me. Yes, it indeedy do does. There is nothing up here for me. Music starts to get on my fucking nerves after a while. Did I go in the library? Mm, I think I did. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I love this part coming up. Oh my god. <coughs> Gotta get in the character. <laughs> Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex. <laughs> Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like my voice cracked. Fuck. <laughs> okay, deep breath. <sighs> the joy of finding another pasta. The admiration for another's sol puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall not- You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, will be your- Drum roll, please. No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. I, okay. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Sure. Papyrus blocks the way. I'm gonna insult you. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Those some nice bones you got there, bro. Smells like bones. I know. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. W well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Mmm, I can make. 
I'm just gonna say I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility! It reminds me of myself! You're meeting all my standards! If you click on I can make spaghetti, he says. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you! No. You're too old for me, Pap. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh, that's scary. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Psh, this is nothing. Rip. No! Oh, fuck. Okay. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Yes, indeed I am. Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. Nothing. Don't wear anything. Just go naked. Actually, don't do that. That would be illegal. <laughs> Especially since you're going on a date with, like, a nine-year-old. <laughs> Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. Where can I get that shit? What? I'm not thinking about the date thing! Yes, you are. Don't lie to me. That is so pure. Papyrus- oh wait, eh. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Same. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, tiny jo oh, fuck, 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 fuck. You're, like, pain in the ass. Papyrus dabs Metaton brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Can I? Butts pie. Butterscotch pie is labeled as butts pie. <laughs> you made the butterscotch pie. The butts pie. Papyrus, head of the royal guard! Can you close your door? Thanks, you're the best. Very <laughs> stabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. Wait, I didn't mean to. Papyrus, unparalleled spigator! Fuck, 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 fuck. Mm -mm. Attraction slime behind his ear. What the fuck kind of shit is Metaton selling? Undyne will be really proud of me. Also, I'm sorry you guys have to listen to this. I'm a little bit sick, so my nose is all stuffed up. I'm moving the mic away from my no from my face whenever I like sniffle so it doesn't sound as gross, I hope. Pyra Steps, MBT, brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Hop, hop, hop. Papyrus is Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Well, took you long enough. My brother, well. Well, he won't change very much. Fuck. Pyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Doing a good job. Have a wonderful day. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Fuck. I'm so bad at him. That sounded weird. Pyrus is rattling his bones. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Pyrus is considering his options. Someone like you is really rare. Oh, I can't believe that didn't... I didn't hit that. Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. And dating might be kind of hard. Wow, okay. Pyrus is rattling his bones. After you're captured and sent away? Shit, shit. 
fuck. I knew I fucked that up. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Ah! Who cares? Give up! Mother! Mother. How did skeletons, like, get pregnant? How did Sans and Papyrus come into this world? I'm not sure I want to know the answer to that. Give up or space my special attack! But. Papyrus is considering his options. Uh, yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! Just get it over with. God, you're a piece of trash. It smells like bones. Not too long and I will use that special attack! He is cool. He doesn't have to play it cool. He is cool. This is your last chance before my special attack! Behold, my special attack! It's the dog. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Sweet. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh shit, okay. No, this is still hard, Pap. Oh, motherfucker. This is not a normal attack, you're a piece of shit. Except not really. I didn't even hit that, fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun tonight, <laughs> guys. Oh my god. Got two fucking bottles of wine. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Thank god. You're... Pain, Pap! Rip. Uh. -hoo -hoo. I, can't <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. No, she'll love you. Ooh, but I don't know that. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What a loser. Not really, though. I'm too afraid to pick that option. <laughs> really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... Guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover! Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date! <laughs> I love you, Pap. I love you, Pap. 
Perp, komm berg. Perp. Perp. Please. Love me. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. My house! You're fucking weird. It's a, I meant to talk to Pap. Okay, but whatever. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Thank God. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. You touch the oh, blah. <laughs> the virus isn't dark. <laughs> you touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Hell fucking yeah. This is uh, no, no, no. <sighs> This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, Metaton. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. I will judge you. <laughs> what? Wow! <laughs> Being a good host is a real workout. So apparently, if you continuously walk uh, Abby I'm talking to you apparently if you continuously walk in and out of the kitchen and like make papyrus walk back and forth without him ever like returning to stand where he usually stands in his house it starts to ding and then you go to talk to him and he's like wowie who knew being a good host was such a workout <laughs> so precious my brother always goes out to eat but recently he tried baking something it was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. You bitch. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. Okay. What? Curses! Dude. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. And you know what? I will! I... I usually do anyway. <laughs> A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Door is locked. Sans, let me in! Please! Please, Sans! Let's go in your room. That's my room! If you've finished looking around, we could go in and... do whatever people do when they date. Wink wonk. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Uh, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? No, I haven't looked around. Take your time. I'll wait for you. What a gentleman. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. You're so cool. 
Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle battle scenarios. <laughs> oh, do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. So me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ollie. <laughs> Santa. Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> I just want Papyrus to see, like, a human with a broken arm or something. And then, like, he sees an x-ray of a human with a broken arm and he just fucking, like, hurls on the spot. Like, oh my god. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. Puzzle Construction for Dummies. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. You have negative two followers? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and a goofy font. Oceans. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Cool. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Heck yeah. Okay, dating start. Look at him, he's so cute. So cute. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Fuck you, I'm gonna press triangle because I'm using a controller. <laughs> it is indeed an egg. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for, t for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Hell yeah. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. Dun dun dun. No. Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning! Hell yeah! No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! <laughs> no! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Huh? <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I fucking love it. No! A genuine compliment! Cracking my neck. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. I wonder if skeletons, like, if Sans and Papyrus, like, crack their knuckles. Like, I wonder if that's a thing that they do. God! <laughs> um, this date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Uh, excuse you, yes, it will. I know exactly where it is, but I'm, I've never checked out the rest of your outfit. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perse perseverance. 
There's no. S oh, I are okay. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip: all clothing articles can be improved this way. Papyrus in a down with cis shirt. Holding my hand, so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. I see. I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart, but who doesn't? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. My hat? I I meant your mouth, but okay. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. I'm gonna open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Paschetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged on an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. Take a small bite. The face reflexively scrunches up. What are- why are you making that face? <laughs> the taste is in or, uh, the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! Yoman, it's clear now. <laughs> You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um. Oh, is it hot in here, or is it just me? It's just you. Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cruel friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> phone number sounds like a booty call kind of thing. Like you're calling someone to like, to, you know, phone them. Wait, 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 wait. What happens if I call Pap in his room? What? I thought you had gotten out of my room. We're going to have to start over from square one. First, do you know who Papyrus is? Hun. I'm gonna call him again inside his house. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Sansa's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... It's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. Yeah. What's back here? Oh, okay. There's a back door. But it's locked. Okay, let's go. Bye, Pap. Bye, Sans. I want to see inside your room really bad. <laughs> da, 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 da. <gasps> oh my god, we're coming to one of my favorite parts of the game. Hell fucking yeah! 
Hey, guys. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> no problem. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Boop. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Ha! Ah! Just so you guys know, that's an echo flower. I didn't know that would happen. It's an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard. Sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Hey, Sans. Oh my god. Abby. Did you see that one thing I reblogged where Sans was st sitting at a station and he was like, come back later? <laughs> like, oh my god. That thing fucking killed me. <laughs> I was like, ah! Anyway, um, yeah. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Sans has got it in the bag. I'm going to Grilby's. Wanna come? Sure thing, bud. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Thanks. Over here. I know a shortcut. I'll fucking transport us. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey. Er, hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. You son of a bitch. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. That would be me. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'ma go with burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. Iceberg. Ice cold. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> so, what do you think? of my brother. He's so fucking cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. I love Grilby. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? And no. More for me. Just fucking drinks the ketchup. What the fuck is wrong with Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard, begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, no one else is around. Flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. You know what? Sure. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. Hey, I'm a good person. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Sans is honestly me. I feel like I'm just literally a combination of every character in this game at this point. Like. They have literally become me. <laughs> I have- Nah, I mean, I have become them.
Look at that ice bobbing along. The bunny trail. Let's save one more time. Let's hang out again sometime. Yeah, man, you're my fave. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in a box. Sincerely, a box hater. I said earlier that my legs were litching. Litching? <laughs> that my legs were itching. But now it's my nose. <laughs> I, I am dying. <laughs> the telltale signs of death. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, I desperately need to acquire some sort of sustenance. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Let's take a look-see. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Yep, there is. Nah, but I gotta go... Wait, shit, fuck, okay. Gotta turn these off. Lurk in the darkness. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Sure thing, bud. Uh, okay. I'm gonna use that. And then put the bandage in there. Because I don't need that shit. I really like the lighting of this scene and how the shadow... Like... I just, it's pretty. It's very pretty. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. But what You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see... You, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Pap, no. Oh, shit, I forgot about that part. Undyne, you're a creepy motherfucker. Well, that was fucking unnerving. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. JK, I'm him. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Hell yep. When four bridge she seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Mice live in these. Not really, though. That'd be weird. Oh. <laughs> Aaron flexes in! What happens if I shoo him? You tell Aaron to go away. Wow! Spunky! Love it! Winky face. Aaron is splashing you playfully. I love you, Aaron. Flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. For you two. Flexing contest? Okay. Flex more. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay. Flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice! I won't lose, though. Sure. Hey, I am a small child. Um, fuck you. Aaron is ready for your next flex. I'm gonna flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room! You won! 30 gold! Nice. 
We must complete this in total darkness. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Indeed they can. Oh, 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 I know what to do. Okay. I actually haven't checked out over here before. Get. I don't know. I feel like I know what's over here, but I can't fucking remember. Oh, that's right. Okay. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Yes, I need healing stuff. Ah, no. My nose itches! <laughs> this is what hell is like. Actually, in my own personal opinion, hell is just like everyday life, but you just can't breathe out of one nostril ever. <laughs> Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. You know what, you sassy motherfucker? Ah. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, does that work? No. Uh, oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Hot. Wait, wait, I wanna see if this works. Nice, it does. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. You fucking fuckboy. She thought you s she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Um... Um, um, yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. God, this literally makes me so fucking sad. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. <laughs> Washua, shovels up! Oh my god, I freaking love Washua. I'm gonna touch you. You reach out. Washua recoils from your touch. Oh! Oh, wait, it's because he's gotta clean me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Washua is friends the little bird. I can see that. It's li oh fuck. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Scrub a dub dubs. What the hell? I haven't seen. Oh fuck. Okay. I haven't seen that attack before. No. It smells like detergent. Uh, I'll joke. Tell a joke about a kid who ate a pie with their bare hands. Washua's powers neutralized. No. That joke's too dirty. Cutest little but boob. Bo bo You're the cutest little boob. <laughs> you ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. I want to meet Washua in real life. Green means clean. Fuck, 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 fuck. Stop shooting it over there, you piece of shit. No! God damn it! Wait, what? It's about a kid who played with a flower? Oh shit, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. Okay, okay, actually shoot green shit at me, please. Okay, cool, there we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Come on, sis, make a wish! I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. So freaking sad. 
Uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week. Look through the telescope. Hell yep. Okay. <laughs> I just bumped the microphone, sorry. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul? A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Yikes. Dun dun dun. Again, I really like the lighting here. This game is just really pretty. Fuck, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog. Lend me your powers. Fuck, shit. Oh, fuck. No, fuck, fuck, shit. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I can't fucking... Oh. Okay. 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 <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was ridiculously fucking close. <laughs> Ew. He's making a weird fucking face. He's just like grinning, like, hell yeah, she's touching me! <laughs> Yo! Did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky. If you were just standing a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I didn't realize that he didn't have any arms until I saw a bunch of fan art of him, and I was like, oh. Sweet. Sweet. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. What is with all the cheese in this game? Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Hey, Sans! <coughs> thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Hell fucking yep. Oh, mother... I forgot about that. <laughs> huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. You sly motherfucker. I don't want to use the spider donut, cause... God, uh... Yeah, oh, no, wait, I need that. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I wish. <gasps> oh, thank God you're here. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. You're so cute. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for an ice cream. A free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Thank God. Okay, gotta buy like ten more. Okay, we're good. The 
ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. There's an ice- there's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cavern. Eh, whatever. Oh wait, I don't- uh, I don't really actually want a punch card. Okay. Wait, what's- Burp! Lego! I love this music so much. You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. It is not. Before we go down, we gonna walk- Ah! Fuck both y'all. Spare ballet shoes. Yep. Hmm. I don't want- No. I'm gonna go, um, put that, those in the box, because I don't <laughs> use weapons, so. Da da da. Whoop! Okay. Back to what I was doing before. I got distracted by some cutie patootie. Ballet shoes. Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you was very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This is er, this way you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. God. What do you want? Oh, it's you, you cute. Okay. Fuck, wait. Okay. You ask questions? Okay. You're so cute, I can't even, like, be mad that you're trying to fucking... Wonders if tears are sanitary. Actually, yes. There's salt water. I, I mean, I guess that doesn't, like, sh like explain that they're saying. I don't know. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Sure. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh my god. Fuck, I love this. <laughs> hey, there. Notice you're here. I I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? I love you. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? This is great here, huh? You love it, huh? Y yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. I'm gonna start calling the things that I like my big favorite with like capital B and F. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but. Uh, hey, that's okay. Beats moving to the city. I'm living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. <laughs> you make me wanna cry, you're so lonely and cute. <laughs> and the aquarium's full. Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? So freaking cute. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Shiren! Whoa, okay. But I <laughs> somehow encounters you anyway. I'm gonna hum. You hum a jazz ballad. 
Shiren follows your melody. Oh my god, those are fins! Holy shit! Okay, I have been thinking that the thing moving on her head was like her mouth puckering for the longest time. I thought she was like puckering her lips and just like making a fish face, but like I didn't realize that her head is a fucking fish and those are the fins. God damn it! You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. See Ray, see Ray, see me, see me. Look at her, she's so cute and pre Oh fuck, okay, I didn't mean to run into that. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. You know what, I kinda wanna like, you smile. You asked to see Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Is Aaron like, her controlling boyfriend or something like that? Or is he like, nodding at you approvingly for, like, smiling at her? You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Okay. Okay. Well, that doesn't. I can't talk anymore. The northern room hides a great treasure. Fuck. Okay. I hate this. Wait. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Nope. Yeah, I will though. Uh, fuck. Okay. I, yeah. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. Uh, hang on. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is powerful or strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Rip. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Okay. I'ma take one and go put it on. Please, yep, I did that. Hey, have an umbrella, good sir. Ma'am, person, rock. You place the umbrella atop the statue. This song literally makes me so fucking sad. God! Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Ding, 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 ding. Always stuck in my head, I swear to god. Okay, let's see if I can do this, because, like, I swear to god, I know what happens when you get in, so I've never really bothered. Like, when I can't get it, I just don't bother with it, but I'm, I gotta, I'm gonna do it for you guys. All 11 of you that watched this video, <laughs> or the last video. Okay, um,. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking did it on the first try. Holy shit. I'm I'm good. I'm so good. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out here. And- oh. Well, I don't have a dog when I leave the room. <laughs> okay, um... Annoying dog. Little white dog. It's fast asleep. Okay, well... Um... I guess I'll drop it. Put the dog on the ground. You have deployed the dog. <laughs> Fuck you! What does the artifact do? <sighs> God. Fucking dog. I hate that dog. What you looking at? I wanna fight the statue. The music continues and doesn't stop. 
What? <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? If you stay, if if you stay around the music box long enough, the the key for the fucking piano glows above it. It literally gives you the answer to the goddamn piano. God. <laughs> Or wait, maybe that's because I already did it that it did that. I don't know. Yo, you can hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to grab an umbrella. Wait, can I go get an umbrella? Yo, I already looked. Undyne's not over here. So I guess I'll see you later. No, wait, come on. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to get an umbrella. Okay. Yo, you got us an umbrella? You're the best. I know. I know. I'm such a good person. You're not even walking under it, you piece of... God. You piece of God. <laughs> I worship you. <laughs> Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> I do. I wet the bed every night. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate us his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking... Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Hell fucking yep. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. See, I love this scene. It's so fucking pretty. The fucking monster kids being a piece of shit. Why? I don't want. I, I've seen the castle. I'm not gonna look at it. Go away. Okay. Boop. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Oh, he kneels down. I didn't even notice that. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Wait, but you don't have arms. How do you have shoulders? <laughs> The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. God fucking damn it. Let's go. Oh, fuck this part. Undying God. <laughs> Your face. That was beautiful. Undying, calm down. Yeah, fuck. I fucked up. 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 God, okay. I don't fucking know where I'm going. Oh, motherfucking shit. Oh, I can't believe I avoided all those. Okay. Undead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You have fucked up now! Oh, okay. I did it. God. I'm trying to bleed. Oh, okay. Okay. No! I ran right into that one. I'm just gonna calmly walk away. I like how the human, like, 
doesn't run ever. They just kind of like slowly walk. <gasps> dun dun dun. Undyne, what the fuck? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kara, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Dot dot dot. That's your name. <laughs> well! Look at all this trash. It's literally me. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Such as me. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Hell yep. Until next time, my lovelies. Ah. <sighs>